Hello and welcome back to part 15 of the Star Wars Knights of what, uh, what? Wait, what? Can't even handle this. We do that. Time out. We need to redo that. Alright. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Let's play. This is part 15. We are somewhat done with uh, Dan Tween here. I think there might be a couple of side quests we can still do here, but ain't nothing major. So we're done with the main story quest here, so we're on the Evan Hawks. Time to uh, talk to our teammates and uh, see how much they hate us. Especially Carl. Yes, what's in your mind? <laughs> You've been really quiet. Yeah, he's been like, quiet. He's never fucking quiet. What are you talking about? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not the one living out of the loop because I don't know what the hell's going on. No? Well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting to irritate me. Oh, For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? Yeah, 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 that is kind of strange. Yeah, they found me more important than I helped find the star maps this day. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they, don't they have to train you? I said there's a bond between Bessel and myself that I don't understand. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. I, I don't know what reason. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, yeah. And that's all I want And say. what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not gonna wait around until I'm betrayed again. Yeah, he's got serious trust issues. Yeah, I'm not Saul, buddy. Yeah, we'll just see about that, won't we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Oh, okay. Well, Carf, uh, thanks for the great start of this video, Carf. Just being a little whiny bitch. Let's talk to Bass. So I'll hopefully she'll be better. Uh, yeah, of course she wants to speak. Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate or the Force is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare you yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Uh, yeah, tell me how you killed uh, Dark Revan there. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. Yeah, so who killed Revan then? Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. Yeah, some, yeah, Malak, yeah, Malak pretty much did the job for you. He did. He played a good guy there for a second. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Alright, so that went a little bit better than Carf. Carf just yelled at me the whole damn time. Let's see, um, let's talk to, let's talk to the Wookiee. Yeah, let's see, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he does have, a. Uh, he, yeah, he just won't talk to me at all. Alright, oh, bye. Yeah, he, he's pretty much, uh. I don't think you never can talk to him. It's uh, uh, let's see. Oh, well, he's a damn droid. What the fuck you say? He don't talk much, do you? Bleep, boop, beep, beep. <laughs> Bleep, bloop. I mean, it'd be funny if they had someone voice act him. I just said bleep bloop the whole time. Uh, I feel I must apologize oh, Jesus. for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. Okay, I probably uh, going after me with a lightsaber was probably a bad idea. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. 
I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Yeah, I forgive you because I need the life well, shot points. It is most reassuring to know I that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Uh, yep. Let's see, uh, who else here I can uh, blabble on to? Uh, let's see. Um, is there anybody on this side of the ship? Oh, there's a mission. Hey there, what can I do for I you? I think if she, um... Yeah. I want to talk about your bar, I guarantee this is still Don't stuck. Worry. Yeah, it's still stuck, okay. okay. So that's on that little thing where I gotta trigger a quest line. Um, oh, Candor, since let's talk Candor. Yeah, what do you want? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Got more, some more stories for me there, buddy? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. Mm. Yeah, that was your story. I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80 kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, this. dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. Yeah, I, I want, I want to work. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Uh, no, that's good enough. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. All right, so there's that conversation. So, so far, we're still going with uh, Canaris being a complete until asshole. Let's see what we got in this part of ship supplies. This is a mailbox over here. Nothing. Oh, this is just a random storage. Yeah, sure as hell seems like it. And the smoking compartment about the proper codes you were not able to. You may not be able to open it. Okay. Help if I knew how to read. See so anybody on this side of the ship? No, actually, I think these are my quarters. Yeah, I think. I'm trying to figure out which one of these beds do I sleep in? Ah, oh, fuck it, who cares? Um. Hmm. I see really nothing else in here to talk to. Or no one else to talk to, so let's go ahead and, uh. We'll take a little bit of detour before we go to our first true planet here. We're gonna go ahead. Wow, Yavin! I'm pretty sure that's not where Yavin's actually supposed to be at on the map, but we're gonna head over to Yavin. So, if you remember, uh, Yavin is the place of the. or is the site of the attack on the first Death Star, the Battle of Yavin. For a reason, Star Wars, all date and time record, you know, all that measurement. Like, everything's based off that battle. So anytime you see any sort of, like, date in Star Wars, like, everything will either be some years before the Battle of Yavin or after the Battle of Yavin. I do not know why in Star Wars 
all time is measured off that battle. And so it's really strange. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Damn, he's really short. Kalo Nord, a bounty he's hunter, really was there short. when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's and other companions, Lord Malak. Hmm. Oh, that's a little interesting cutscene. So now we have a uh, Kalinor here. He's on the uh, pretty much Tragnus. So we got him. He's gonna be chasing efforts here for a while. So we're not actually going to Yavin, but we're going to this uh, little space station here that orbits the gas giant of Yavin. Of course, the gas giant is Yavin, and actually the planet itself is Yavin 4. Alright. Down to disembark here. Oh, what the hell. Something's not right. What the hell are you making? Amazing. This is amazing. Someone's stuck, fucking broken and it's taking all our fucking food. <sighs> I gotta take care of this shit. Let's see, yeah, here we go. Hey, this exam is a little bit more cool. I don't even know why there's a fucking option for that. So we have a stowaway on this ship. Just absolutely fucking awesome. Okay, so now we, wait, we got someone in the fucking ship following us. This is kind of creepy. I'm about to say, am I really gonna get stuck in this ship and I can't even fucking move? Oh, I did get stuck. Still can't hear anything. Cargo, wait, what the? Who's this? Kipuna, Bona Nakichu. Oh, great, now we have a little girl. Yeah, where the hell do you come from? Selima Wanga I, I, yeah, I don't understand that. Uh, Naba do this, no Hooten Vod, Liza, what? What? Mucha Shakapaka. Yeah, I don't understand what the hell you're saying. Yeah, helpless, yeah. So actually, she's actually speaking Mandalorian here. Mucha Shakapaka. Uh, this name, Lurba, or Premius, oh yeah. And see, can you, can you tell me what your name is? I'm puzzled. Uh, my name is Alabama Johnson. I'm from planet Earth, from Alabama. And they named me Johnson. Who are you? Okay. Do you know a trolley by the name of Lurica Sos? Your name is Sasha, right? Yeah, so okay. How did you get on this ship? Doesn't understand. Okay, let's try and learn her language here. 
I I take it that is the uh, Sasha no Mandalore no Mandalore. Don't worry. Uh, let's see where do you come from? Let's see, uh traveling her language again. Don't keep Sarah's panels. Kipuna Bonana Kipuna Okay Bonana Kichu. Dong a bookshop. Dong a bookshop. Hi, okay, hi. Dong ki ba non tontek. Selima wang. Your highness star said this is your home, okay. Bon. I can't even pronounce how this is. Dong a bookshami no nok. Mucha shakapaka. Yeah, sure. I'll, you. Oh, wait up. Selima wang. Yeah, no Nemas or whatever it is. Yeah, what she's kind of saying really doesn't match what she's actually saying. Okay, it's a her and not her. So when I saw her, she said, no, no, yes. Not her, her, okay. Young. Part of the ship, a room. Food, okay. Yum is food. That's that's stupid. Yum is food. That's mm, that's lazy. My geese. It's almost sounds fucking German. Ah, uh, not speaking. Okay. He wants the food. Hungry. Tab, you want Donkey, but I'll oh, tell her about me. Okay. Mucha shakapaka. All right. Why are you hunting on my ship? Selima wanga kunbikin. Ah, you came to ship before. You very scared. Why? Mandalorians. You look more in the Mandalorians ship. Don't take. Don't a book. Don't a book. Uh, don't key, no. Okay. Don't abuk shami. Okay. So this is the girl that that one uh, Twilight was telling us was missing, and she jumped onto the ship. So we gotta take her back to Dantooine. So we're gonna do that. So we're just gonna add some randoms here. Not that it really matters on that much. We're just gonna do auto level on both of them because I don't really care if we're going through it all. And I'll load him. There we go. Okay. Uh, nice lock you got here. Don't have to enter any sort of access code or anything. Just walk on through. I think there's some of past this door here. It looks like the main control uh, area. Oh, I got one of these. Ones. Wow, that fucking gas giant is flying in the background. Uh, yeah, I'm new. I'm very new, yeah. Uh, I'm a Republic soldier. Alright, so I got this little. Uh, uh, fuck, I keep forgetting what these guys' languages or what these guys are calling. Oh. Ro Roman, Roman, Rogos or whatever. I ah, shit, I'll look it up later. Two of you. 
Um, let's see. I'm on a quest for the Jedi Council. Well, you're like the first motherfucker didn't notice the fucking lightsaber. Yeah, he's new to the floor. Yeah, he is. I'm looking for a, for the Star Forge. Max Arcoon, tell me about that. No, I don't know anything about him. Yeah, let me about Max Arcoon. He was case a Jedi. Fourth Moon wishes Gavin Four. Actually, there is a mission of temples on Yavin. Yeah, that's right. Hey, do you spend all your time in your station alone? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, tell me about these Trandoshans, motherfuckers. Two like a lizards. Well, so they're like Rodians, that's what their name is. I mean, you look like a fucking fly, dude. Like, you li look like a damn fly. You can't say anything about ugly. Hmm. Yeah, what will you be going to sell me here? Yeah, let's take a look here what we got. Okay, this stuff is like really, I guess shit is like pricey as fuck too. Alright. So I yeah this is a this guy has a little thing here. Yeah there's Yavin 4 right there off to the here right. And here's the uh, gas giant which is a uh, see what was the fucking button for first person? I keep forgetting. Is it spacebar? No. Is it this? Is it... No. That's lightsaber. No, 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 no. Oh shit, I don't remember what the fuck thing is. Let's just get off this fucking plane. Oh my god, you two have got me blocked in. So this guy, he sells really rare stuff, and we had to come back here every other planet, and stuff he'll sell be, be better, pretty much. But we're going to porn. We're going to porn. No, we're really going to return back to the Ebon Hawk, take this girl back to Dantween, drop her ass off, and uh, we'll be done with this video. It's going on a lot longer than it really should be going, but yeah, we'll drop her off on Dantween very quick. So, uh, back there, Kashik, no. There we go, Dantween. Have your travel back. You know the thing that sucks is everybody knows this ship to be um, um, Davik's ship. And so we're not really being all that damn stealth. Uh, yeah, this thing doesn't have a stealth system at all. We're just kind of just rolling around the galaxy in this son of a bitch. Oh, wait, really? We're getting attacked? Am I, or am I just imagining things? That sounds like battle music. It is battle music, son of a bitch. Hopefully my mouse turns a bit quicker than the last time. Where did these Sith fires come from? Were they just rolling around in dark space and found us? Yeah, Carve, I see we got another coming. I still can't turn this mouse all that well. Alright, we got three star fighters left. Yeah, I, I just I can't turn yeah, for a reason this mouse is just got slow. Um Oh, turn speed on here. 
I'm like, you, you probably hear me like slamming this thing against the fucking desk. But we only got one ship left to worry about. Ah, I think I can't turn this. Oh, here we. Oh, this is. There we go. I got it now. I gotta use the fucking keyboard for it. I just found it out right when it doesn't even matter anymore. But yay, we did it. Unless we got that. I'm about to remind me for next time. <sighs> so yes, like how like we're just, just starfighters just waiting outside that thing waiting for us. How come we can just go into hyperspace like we just did right there? Hello and welcome back to Dantooine, the most boring planet ever. I hope we crash into it. See, from very far away, the Jedi Enclave, or Academy, looks really fucking huge, and you get to it, and it's like, it's meh. It's not that big of a size. So let's go ahead and um, dump off the kid, get this side quest done. <sighs> Alright. Alright, take mission. Alright. Um, uh oh. Mission, is that you? Uh -oh. It's me, Lena, remember? I was dating your brother back on Terrace. Lena? What are you doing here? Where's Griff? I'm just passing through. Griff and I broke up a few months after we left Terrace together. Probably for the best. Your brother can be charming, Mission, but he's bad news. Don't you start trashing my brother, you cantina rat. Take that back or I'll smack you so hard your head tails will pop off. <laughs> Mission, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? Oh, uh, yeah, Mission is a little worked up when it comes to her brother. Yeah. yeah, I know how she feels. Griff can be pretty frustrating. I guess that's why Mission didn't want to come with us when we left Terrace. You liar! Griff told me that you didn't want his little sister tagging along. That's why he had to leave me behind. Is that what the hut spawn told you? I wanted you to come with us, Mission. I even offered to pay for your ticket. Why not? I paid for everything else while I was with that freeloader. But he told me you didn't want to leave Terrace. I said we shouldn't even go then. But he said we'd come back and get you after we struck it rich on Tatooine. Just another one of his lies. No, you're the one who's lying. Griff wouldn't... He wouldn't try to leave me behind. Uh, yeah, why should we believe you, Lena? Think about it. If Griff wasn't trying to ditch you, Mission, then why didn't he tell you where we were going? After we left Terrace, he told me looking after you was holding him back. Griff's always looking to blame other people for his own problems. That's why he abandoned you. He did the same thing to me, too. As soon as I ran out of money, he started blaming me for all of his problems. Like it's my fault his get-rich-quick schemes never work out. Hmm. Yeah, I can't want to hear it. Yeah, so uh, where is Griff now? It's still on Tatooine, as far as oh, I know. Tatooine. Not that I really care anymore. And if Mission was smart, she'd forget about that no-good con artist. But Griff is my brother. I, I just can't pretend he doesn't exist. If he was here to defend himself, Lena wouldn't be saying all this bad stuff about him. <sighs> hey, if you want to talk to Griff, go ahead. Last I heard, he was going to make a fortune working the Zerka Corp mines on Tatooine. But as far as I'm concerned, he's out of my life forever. Griff's better off without you anyway, you table dancing, brother stealing, home wrecker. I guess that's my cue to leave then. I didn't mean to upset you, Mission. But one day you'll see I'm right about your brother. I only hope it's not too late by then. Oh, well, that was interesting. Okay, let's go talk to this guy and dump off the kid here. Hey, I got a stowaway in my ship. Uh, go ahead. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a name. Yeah, she's on my ship. And yeah, she speaks to Iron Mandalorian. I was able to figure it out. Yeah, sure. Got on my ship. Alright. What the fuck? She's ghosted? Our home is the, you know, the ship. Our home is the, you know, the ship. 
Uh, yep. Alright. Wait, hang on, I'm gonna chase after you. Come back here! Let's see where they go. I'm just gonna run one big ass circle around my fucking ship. Alright. Uh, bye, guys! As they, uh, disappear in thin air. So, anyway, we're done with this little bullshit here, so it's time to take off the Dantooine and we'll be done with this shit. So, let's go ahead and I'll fly our way over there. Alright, let's see. There's Tatooine there. Talking to Ankara. Anchor Head Settlement. Alright, here we go. And so, goodbye once again, uh, Dan Tulane. We left this planet twice in one video. Kinda hope we flew in those birds when we fucking flew out of here. I don't know how I was about to say, please don't be any more so starfighters. Uh, time for me to have another really odd, bizarre ass dream. Well, guys, I hope you brought your suntan lotion and um, your hatred of sand with you because, yeah, we're gonna be, it's gonna be uh, burning alive out here as we come landing into the space dock here. As we come from one planet, everyone knows. I think Tatooine, I think it's been in every single Star Wars movie except for uh, uh, Force Awakens and Empire Strikes Back. Force has given us a, a vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I Find hate it. it. Of course, it entertaining. It's over. Somewhere in its desolate wastes. Yeah, it did look like it was some. I don't know. I can be like a plate dictator for no reason. It looked like some sort of cave. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alright, guys, well, this is in the part 15. I'd like to thank y'all for watching. What count went a little bit longer? But anyway, like thank y'all for watching, and for next time, we'll be uh, stepping out onto uh, on the desert planet of Dantooine and be exploring the town of Anchorage. So, see y'all next time.